Hi everyone. In this series of tutorials, we will see how to type mathematics in LaTeX. So as a first part, we will see how to type this matrix in LaTeX. So all this uh, parts are going to be very smaller parts, uh, not more than 5 minutes I expect. Uh, let's see how it works. So here I am with my uh, LaTeX uh, Tech Studio uh, with of course my LaTeX installed in it. And uh, this is just a empty article class here. So I have just a slash document, uh, slash document class article. And then of course I have begin document in document. I have a section called typing, typing matrices. That's all I have, right? Oh. So to type a matrix, of course you can type it in inline matrices or uh, the display style matrices as well. Uh, the inline, if you want to type, then you may type anything in between a single dollar is actually is called as inline mathematics. What we are going to do is in display style. So for that, I start an equation mode. So write light an equation. And uh, of course, automatically my text studio completes that slash end equation and I write this one, right? So as for this, I write the slash equation, begin equation, end equation, I don't need anything. But once I started typing my matrices, the matrices is not a default option in LaTeX. So I need a package called AMS math. So let's use a package called AMS math to do all of the mathematical works. So between this equation, begin equation and end equation, let's type capital A is equal to um, slash begin P matrix, which is a parenthesis matrix. And then if you press enter, if you see this, this portion, you press enter, it should automatically complete you if you are in the text studio. Otherwise, you may have to write it on your own. So the way we write the matrices is simply, we write the entries here, let's say suppose one, and then we write an ampersand symbol to denote that it is a first column, first entry, and we write another entry, let's say suppose two, and to go to the next row, we write double slash. And then we type three, and then ampersand symbol four. So this is a first row, first column, and this is second row, second column. So let me compile this and see what happens. So look at this, A is equal to one, two, three, four. That's all it is. So this for one is coming from here and uh, the two is coming from here and of course there is an ampersand symbol to denote that this is the next column and there's a double dollar to cut from after two you can go over to the next column like this so that's how it works all right so now let me haul out everything and if you whatever the thumbnail was there we'll type that equation uh, to type such kind of matrices very simple it is just a underscore and then there is an open curly braces and close curly braces to denote that one one and then uh, ampersand symbol and then a one two which is a one two and then ampersand symbol uh, and then uh, we can write slash dots ampersand symbol then a underscore one a. so as far as what we achieved let me compile and check so that's simply a one one a one two a one n that's all now you can go back to the next row by just pressing the uh, by just writing the double slash over like this and go to the next line like this so a underscore two one second row first column and then a underscore two two and then slash dots anniversary symbol a underscore two n correct so let me compile this saving this and compiling this it's my first row and second row, Sec first row and second row. Now for the third row, if you notice the, uh, I'm sorry, if you notice the thumbnail here, for the third row, it is all vertical dots over here, over here vertical dots, and then there is a diagonal dots over here, again vertical dots over here, correct? So let's go back to that and see. For the first column, I need a vertical dots, to get a vertical dot in uh, LaTeX, it's very simple, slash V dots, that's all, and an ampersand symbol, I need one more slash V dots for the second column, if you see the second column also, but the third column requires a diagonal dots, so as you might have guessed, the command for the diagonal dot is, is simply D dots, and then ampersand symbol, again one more vertical dots, then uh, if I write a double slash over here and try to compile this and this is what we achieve. So let's write the final row as well. So that is A, M1, Mth row and first column 
and then a m2 underscore and then slash dots and slash uh, so a underscore m m so if i do this of course last row does not need the double slash extra fine so we got a matrix which is just as it is which i was showing in the thumbnail here yes that's all we have uh, i think that's all for this video maybe i can show you one more trick if you don't like the parenthesis and if you want a square bracket on it it is very simple to get that you just change this p to b so b and don't forget to change this end uh, p also over here it's also b so b matrix and b matrix and compile this you get a squared such kind of big matrices suppose if you are worried uh, how to get a determinant of such kind it is very simple it is a vertical matrix so it's just a v you need to change it over here as well as over here so b matrix has to be changed to b matrix and that's to get the double slash v here okay fine if you were wondering how to get a parenthesis matrix etc that's also very easy if you write the simply take off all the v here over here as well and if you simply compile this it gives you a matrix without anything so what we can do here is before this matrix starts and after this matrix start whatever symbol i want i can put it for example i write slash left and then uh, there is a vertical line uh, which is to generate my determinant correct so then later slash after the end matrix slash right then vertical line if i compile this i get the same output as that of what i was having for determinant now if you change this to slash uh, curly brace because the after that slash end matrix write a curl, slash curly brace and compile this and you get a now matrix with uh, uh, curly braces in between so anything you want actually you can do it with your uh, mat matrix command so this just actually generates a matrix without any symbol and p matrix generates with the parenthesis matrix b matrix which generates the bracketed matrix b generates like as like a determinant and this one gives you the matrices as you want it i hope uh, that's all for this video and i'll see you in the next video thanks a lot